Um, I want to personally welcome you to the Student Memorial Center on this beautiful campus and thank you for joining us for this important occasion. This is the second week of classes at Millersville and we're excited to begin another year here and at the other state-owned universities across Pennsylvania. I'm pleased to report, Governor and uh, Chairwoman Shapiro, that Millersville's over 100% occupancy at the start of the session. And Governor, we're extremely proud to have you here and all the elected officials that are joining us on campus today. Uh, and, and we appreciate sincerely the strong support of public higher education. In particular, I'd like to take just a moment, Governor, to acknowledge uh, in attendance elected officials, Senator Scott Martin, Senator Judy Schwank, Representative Tim Briggs, Representative Jordan Harris, and Representative Izzy Smith Waydell. As you can see, higher education is a bipartisan sport. Yes. And we appreciate that, and I want to acknowledge it. I also want to thank the team from Google for being here and partnering with Pasha Universities. It's exciting to collaborate with industry leading businesses that benefit our students. I want to acknowledge and thank the Board of Governors for Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education and the faculty and staff at Millersville and the other universities with us today. I particularly want to uh, call out my MU uh, Council Trustee colleagues who are in attendance today, Rich Frerichs, Allison Ross, Amber Sessoms, Jordan Harris. And we have the following university president to introduce uh, President Patterson from SHIP. <coughs> Excuse me. Each of you works tirelessly to deliver on the mission to provide a high quality education at the lowest cost to students. And most importantly, I want to, take, uh, I want to thank our students. Uh, you and your bright futures are the inspiration for this announcement, and I'm grateful that you're joining us today. Today's announcement underscores the new and innovative ways that state system universities are evolving to provide students with even more value for their college education. And it also demonstrates our commitment to workforce development and helping learners get the education to thrive in good jobs uh, in Pennsylvania. So with that, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing Cynthia Shapiro, Chairwoman of the State System of Higher Education. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. I really appreciate that. And uh, greetings to everybody today. This is such an exciting event and such an exciting day. So again, I'm Cindy Shapira. Uh, I'm chair of the Board of Governors uh, for Pennsylvania's system, state system of higher education. And on behalf of all of our students, faculty, staff, and leaders all across the state system, I want to thank Governor Shapiro and Google for joining us today. This really is uh, a, a momentous occasion. And let me specifically acknowledge um, our PASHA Chancellor, Dan Greenstein, for his incredible vision and continued leadership, which has made this exciting moment possible. Uh, let me also thank Miller, Millersville uh, University's Council of Trustees, the Chair, Michael Warfel, of course, President Wuba, and his great team for hosting us today. So as we know, our mission as Pennsylvania's only state-owned system of universities is to provide a high-quality education at the lowest possible cost to our students. And we know that this is the reason uh, that students choose Apache University. It offers a great value as they pursue the education they need to succeed here in Pennsylvania. Um, and I, I would add that most of our students do stay here in Pennsylvania when they graduate. Uh, and, and we know that students want and need uh, more from higher education today. The environment is changing, and this is why our PASHA universities continue to evolve to meet those needs. We listen to our students, and we listen to their potential employers to ensure that our students are getting the knowledge and skills they need for a life of success and to build a strong pipeline of talent for Pennsylvania. And this new initiative with Google is the latest example of that commitment. PASHI is so proud to be the first higher education system in Pennsylvania to bring Google career certificates to eight of our universities and the communities that they serve. Several institutions will pair the certificate program with their own high quality undergraduate courses. Now this is incredible. This enables students to earn college credit 
and an industry-recognized credential at the same time, which is very much our goal uh, as we think about this phase of redesign and growth for the system. So students will gain additional value from their education. They're going to be both comprehensively educated and specifically skilled, which is today's combination that's needed. Um, and we believe that that's exactly what employers want, too, and that this will give our students a competitive edge in the job market and the potential for the greatest possible earnings. And the best part is that our students can begin reaping these benefits while they are still in college. And as Pennsylvania's only state-owned public universities, many of the 85,000 students we serve come to us from low and middle income backgrounds, or they're the first in their families to go to college. And most of our students work while taking classes. So through the Google Career Certificate Program, they can start entry-level jobs in their field while continuing as full-time college students. Again, I, I just think that this is an amazing opportunity. We're so excited that this PASHI Google partnership will expand higher education opportunities to other working adults as well who need to reskill or upskill, and that's vital to addressing the state's worker shortage in critical fields. Several universities will offer the training as non-credit courses and partner with local businesses, and that experience could lead the students to pursue a college degree um, and many of them never thought that that was possible, so that's just an additional benefit, bringing more students uh, into higher education. So finally, let me again thank Governor Shapiro and the state legislature for their strong support of PASHA universities and students. The state has increased its investment by our, of our students by nearly 23% over the past two years. I'm sorry, I have to stop and do that. <laughs> And that funding increase, combined with the reforms that we've made and continue to make, have enabled the Board of Governors to freeze tuition again this year. And uh, of course, I'm so proud to say that this is the sixth consecutive year that students will have the same low tuition rate. So what can I say? We're doing it all. We're, we're uh, keeping tuition affordable to help people start and stay in, in school and to graduate into rewarding jobs. Uh, and that's what we're all about, and we will stay laser focused on that. So again, all of you state leaders, Governor, we so appreciate this investment that you've made and that we know you will continue to make. And you, you know, right here we see, if you look around, all the excitement and energy today on this campus. This is typical of our campuses, and these are our future leaders and thinkers and creators and dreamers in the Commonwealth. And so there's, there's nothing more exciting than being here today. So thank you again. And now it's my honor to introduce, excuse me, I have to look and see who I'm introducing, Mark, Mark Iskovitz from Google. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Shapira, and hello, everyone. It's really an honor to be here. I must tell you, I'm, I'm inspired uh, by, the whole, by the whole thing. Uh, thank you to Millersville University for, for hosting us. Uh, I want to thank Governor Shapiro. Uh, great to be here with you today as we were discussing as we walked in. Your, your vision for multiple pathways to the jobs of the future is critical, critical to building a strong economy that works for everyone, to the elected officials, thank you for being here, and for the students, particularly for Emily, who showed the governor how she's combined a Millersville degree uh, with, with a Google Career Certificate and Data Analytics uh, to, to start uh, on, on the path of her career is really inspiring. I'm Mark Isakowitz, uh, Vice President of Public Policy at Google. There's no more important policy issue than education, and it's my pleasure to be here with you today to announce our new partnership with the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. Google has called Pennsylvania home for 17 years. We have an office in Pittsburgh. Governor, almost, almost 900 people there. Yep. And we know firsthand. It should be 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> I, wa I walked into that nicely. <laughs> um, and we know firsthand what a talented workforce Pennsylvania has. Like most of the US, however, Pennsylvania is facing a skills gap, nearly 60% of jobs in Pennsylvania require some higher education after high school, but only 33% of workers have a bachelor's degree or higher to get those jobs. 
And that's why the governor's strong commitment to skills-based hiring is so important. And that's why we are excited to announce today that we are partnering with PASHI to offer Google Career Certificates to learners across the state. Google Career Certificates offer a fast and flexible training program that prepare learners in high growth, in-demand industries such as cybersecurity, data analytics, user experience design, and more. Nationally, there are more than 2.4 million open entry-level role, roles across the six Google Career Certificate fields, 2.4 million openings, with a median salary of $76,000 per year. Just this past year, there were more than 30,000 open jobs in those fields here in Pennsylvania. That's a lot of numbers, but what it really means is that there's a lot of opportunity and we want people to have the certificates in their hands to get those opportunities. Through this new partnership, academic programs across PASHI will offer certificates to undergraduates to help improve their employability and earning potential. University workforce teams will also extend access to certificates to learners looking to upskill even if they are not enrolled students at a PASHI university. In addition to gaining skills to advance their careers, graduates will have the opportunity to connect with more than 150 employer consortium partners like Pennsylvania-based SAP, Bayer, and of course, Google, who are committed to hiring certificate completers. You'll hear from a leader from our consortium member, SAP, right when I finish. Today, more than 200,000 people have graduated from Google Career Certificate programs in the US, and 75% of those graduates have reported a positive career impact, such as a new job, higher pay, or a promotion within six months of completion. Google is committed to doing our part to promote skills-based career paths and opportunities in Pennsylvania to, ben to benefit all Pennsylvanians. We are excited to work with Governor Shapiro and state education leaders and the legislature to continue that commitment. And with that, as I said I would do, I will turn the stage over to Margo from SAP, who is one of our consortium members. Margo. <laughs> Thank you for that introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Margot Goodson. I'm Vice President, Head of North America Diversity and Inclusion at SAP. We are based on the Philadelphia side of Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly in Newtown Square, PA. About 3,000 folks at that office. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Although we're German-owned and operated and headquartered in Waldorf, Germany, but that's where our North America headquarters is pleased to be. So we're grateful for this opportunity. Thank you, Governor Shapiro, for your commitment, and Google for this partnership. It's so key. We've been a partner in this consortium of over 150 companies for a few years now. And we've even hired already from it a couple of learners. And it's super exciting for us because we too, as part of our commitment in the US, we're part of the Multiple Pathways Initiative with the, the United States government around really looking for skills-based hiring opportunities. And we know that college degrees are certainly important, and this is a great college that we're at today. And in addition to that, having the ability to skill up is so important. So whether we're skilling new talent, early talent, or reskilling seasoned talent, these Google certificates are critical for the impact that we need to make in today's technology in the world of corporate America, nonprofit, etc. How many of us know technology touches everything and everything touches it, yeah. right? So it's super important. And so what Google Consortium enables us to do is it enables us to diversify our methodologies to diversify our results. We get to have direct access with this talent through webinars, through career fairs, through some of the, the uh, recruiter engagement. We have six recruiters designated to work with this employer consortium program to make sure that we are not missing out on the talent that's there. You know, there's a quote that says, talent is ubiquitous, opportunity is not. Well, certainly SAP wants to make sure that the opportunities are just as ubiquitous as is the talent. So we're just grateful for what we see happening through Google. And it's super exciting to see the partnership with the Pashi schools and the commitment that you spoke about. That's just phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And being a, a proud Pennsylvania resident myself makes a huge difference for us. We at SAP look for great opportunities to partner in our ecosystem beyond just the normal customer partner relationships. And this is certainly one that we feel is a marketplace leading opportunity for us. And when we think about diversity, equity, and inclusion, we look at it across workforce diversity, workplace inclusion, and marketplace leadership. And again, this is a marketplace leading partnership that enables us to be more inclusive in our workplace and increase the representation of our workforce diversity. 
And that skills, that's the biggest piece of it. No matter your identities, what you bring to it, your lived experiences and your academia and background is certainly key. So I want to thank you again for having us here today. And we're looking forward to the continued partnership and um, excited to have students from across the Apache school systems to potentially come to SAP. You don't even have to be in Pennsylvania to work for us. <laughs> we're a global company with offices all over 140 plus countries now. And even with MPA, you, know, you may not be at that local office, but you can certainly work for us. It's technology, so it's virtual, right? So thank you again today for having me here. And I want to introduce um, a Miller's Bill University alum and Google Certificate Learner, Emily Dunn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Margo, and thank you for having me. It's been an honor. My name is Emily Dunn. I'm a proud Millersville grad, and I'm glad to be back in my old stomping grounds. I'm here to talk a little bit about my experience with the Google Career Certificates. After graduating from Millersville University with a degree in statistics, I started working in an accounts receivable department. As a pandemic grad, I was fortunate to have a job right out of college, but was interested in my true passion for data and the techniques that I learned in my statistics major. My degree in statistics was a great foundation into what I wanted to do, but many of the job postings in data analytics required experience in programming tools like SQL, Python, and R. I looked for ways to gain these skills and discovered the Google Data Analytics Certificate. After signing up for the program, I realized that it fit my learning and work styles perfectly. It's flexible and affordable so that I could complete it on nights and weekends after work. While completing the SQL courses at the beginning of the certificate, I started getting more and more interviews asking about my SQL experience, which helped give me a leg up. <laughs> I quickly was able to land my dream job as a digital product analyst, where I have a more flexible schedule, which includes work from home part of the week, and my salary increased to where I'm actually truly starting to save for a home. After adjusting to the new role, I continued with my studies and completed the certificate in 10 months. What I appreciate is that the current, my current employer encourages continuous learning in the workplace and encourages us to take courses that we're actually interested in. The Google Career Certificates changed my life by giving me the opportunity of learning skills and techniques that employers utilize today. As a result, I am currently taking a Python coding course and will be looking into more advanced certificates in data analytics. Today's announcement of Pashi and Millersville offering the Google Career Certificates is so exciting because it opens doors and opportunities for students to learn skills and technologies that they can pair with their degree and prepare for the real world. Thank you to Google for providing these amazing resources and to Pashi for making this available to others and to everyone else helping people like me find additional pathways to learn new skills. With that, it's my honor to introduce Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Thanks, Emily. Good job. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. And thank you, everybody. It's a good day at Millersville, isn't it? I couldn't be more excited to be here with all of these distinguished leaders, but especially our Millersville students. Um, I don't know why y'all aren't in class, but <laughs> I hope your first week or so is going well. It's really cool to have the chance to speak with you today. I look forward to taking some selfies and spending some time with you after these remarks. But congratulations to you on pursuing your dreams here at an incredible institution as part of a great system. So thank you very much to our students who are here. I know they were acknowledged before, but I think it's important, especially for the students, to see the leaders from across this Commonwealth who support Pache, who support Millersville, who are able to make the kind of investments that are critical to, as Cindy said before, hold the line on tuition. And I want to make sure you all meet some of your board members and leaders in the legislature. Representative Tim Briggs is with us, a, a board member. Representative Waydell, whose district we are in, uh, is with us. Senator Schwank, another board member and a great leader uh, in our state senate. And I want to acknowledge something that's important for all of you to see here. I know we all have different political opinions and different views on different issues. And God knows we live in really divided times. 
One of the things I try to make sure we do in Harrisburg is focus on common sense issues, bringing Republicans and Democrats together. I'm the only governor in the nation with the, the privilege of overseeing a, or working with a legislature that is divided between Democrats and Republicans. Republicans run the Senate, Democrats run the House. Only governor in the nation with a full-time divided legislature like that. And you have two principal leaders who are here with us today, the two gentlemen that oversee the Appropriations <coughs> Committee. And you don't need to be a poli-sci student here to know they're the ones with the checkbooks. So I want you to <laughs> make sure you get the chance to meet them and I want you to meet them in part because they are the heads of the Appropriations Committee and on different parties, but most importantly because they're both Millersville grads and they're both in charge of those important committees, Senator Scott Martin and Representative Jordan Harris. Thank you guys for being here. Right here. I want you to meet just two members of my administration, um, Deputy Secretary Shaw from the Pennsylvania Department of Education who oversees higher ed for us, um, does a great job. And one of your own, Ruby Mondock, who's here. Ruby, right there. Um, Ruby leads a new commission. She works for me full time and is finishing up her studies here at Millersville. A new commission focused on next generation engagement. I know a lot of students here, you feel like you're always being called upon in a campaign to be engaged, to vote, and then you wonder, does my voice really matter when it comes time to governing? Well, right now, for the first time ever, you have a seat at the table in the Shapiro administration, and Ruby is our leader on that, and we're grateful that she's here. Again, Millersville in the house in big ways. So, so if you need resources, you go to two Millersville grads here. You want to get something else done, you go to Ruby. So Millersville is running the show in Harrisburg. And I'm thrilled to be with you today here to make this really, really important announcement um, with our leaders from Google and our leaders from SAP. And I want to thank Mark and Margo for believing in Pennsylvania students and believing in the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It matters that you're here and the respect that you're showing this institution, the respect that you're showing these students, um, it's felt and, and we're grateful for that. I firmly believe that every Pennsylvanian has, should have the freedom to chart their own course and the opportunity to succeed. That's true if you're in pre-K, it's true if you're in higher ed, it should be true for every Pennsylvanian. And here at Millersville University, you do have the freedom to chart your own course and you do have the opportunity to succeed and today's announcement helps enhance that. Together, my administration, alongside PASHI and Google, are opening up new doors of opportunity for the good people of Pennsylvania. And I must say, I am profoundly grateful to the board chair at PASHI, Cynthia Shapira, not Shapiro, Shapira, uh, and Chancellor Dan Greenstein for their innovative leadership and their commitment to PASHI, their commitment to Millersville University. Their vision is helping make sure that students have the freedom to chart their own course and the opportunity to succeed. Back in March, I had the opportunity, the privilege, uh, to speak before Republicans and Democrats from the House and Senate when I delivered what's called a budget address. And on that day, I talked about some of the challenges in higher education and the need for all of us to come together to address those challenges. Colleges, you know, competing with one another for a limited dollar, duplicating degree programs, driving up costs and resulting in reduced access for people who need it most. I tasked our education secretary along with our deputy secretary to convene a working group made up of higher education leaders from all across the Commonwealth. Recognizing the key role that PASHI plays in that, we, we wanted to make sure that they were at the table and could make meaningful contributions to our dialogue, and that is exactly what we're doing. Under the leadership of Chairwoman Shapira and Chancellor Greenstein, Secretary Mameen and Deputy Secretary Shaw and other members of the working group have been hard at work identifying ways in which we could make our higher education system work better to try and discover what doesn't work and to make sure that we do something about it in very concrete terms. With their input, my administration has been working on a comprehensive and meaningful reform plan for higher education. 
that we're going to engage lawmakers with to try and get advanced through our General Assembly. We need to make sure that we craft right now in the Commonwealth a blueprint for higher education focused on competitiveness, focused on workforce development, and grounded in access and affordability for all. I look forward to sharing more of the product of their work over the course of the next few months. But today, today, Pashi and Millersville are giving us a clear example of what innovative, workforce-centered, accessible education can look like in practice right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Pashi, as you heard before, is the first higher education system in Pennsylvania to partner with Google to offer these career certificates through their universities. Career certificates like the one Emily received that's going to open up more doors of opportunity for her. If students want to explore a new skill on their own, they can take online non-credit college classes through Coursera, an online platform, to earn a Google career certificate. This partnership is going to make sure that we are giving more students the opportunity to succeed. Together with Google, we're giving students tangible, real-world skills that they can use to chart their own course to success. And thanks to Google's employer consortium, and this is a key piece of this initiative, every student who earns one of these skills will be one of these certificates, pardon me, will be connected to companies and jobs that are hiring the skills right now. You heard from one of them, SAP, earlier. This means that from here at Millersville University, thanks to the help of Google connecting with companies like SAP, we are create, creating a direct pipeline for Pennsylvania students to get on the path of success right out of the gate, giving you the opportunity to chart your own course. These are critically important and growing fields that we need more workers in right now. Those to do the kind of work we need in data analytics, cybersecurity, IT support, and UX design. Whether it's a tech company like Google, and we're grateful for those 900 jobs in Pittsburgh, <laughs> thousand would be good too, but we are grateful for those 900. Or whether it's Code PA, which is our startup tech firm embedded right in our state government trying to make sure that state government is reaching people where they are and delivering critical services to all Pennsylvanians. We know that we need a workforce with the skills right now to do these critically important jobs. And thanks to this unique partnership, we're helping people get those skills. In the Commonwealth, we want to train the next generation of highly skilled workers. And by incorporating Google career certificates into the classroom, PASHI is putting more tools out there for success into students' hands directly. This is a great example of how we can connect classroom learning to job-ready skills development so students can get the best of both worlds. And it's an example of what we can accomplish when we think big, when we work together, when we break down those silos and stovepipes that oftentimes limit our collaboration, when we see the private sector working together with higher education, and when we're working together to give our students that opportunity for success. And again, I want to commend Cindy and Dan for their tremendous leadership in pursuing this approach. Today, we give students more freedom to chart their own course and more opportunity to succeed. We're going to try and emulate this, not just in other PASHI schools, but in other schools all across Pennsylvania. We're going to continue to value skills-based approach to job creation here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We're going to continue to respect people, no matter what degree they have attained, no matter what certificate they have, but focused on the skills that they have, the know-how they bring to the conversation, and their willingness to be part of crafting Pennsylvania's future. I am bullish on Millersville University, on PASHI, and especially on this certificate program. I thank you all for being here today. And with that, uh, before we wrap and before I get a chance to hang out with some of our students, we'll open it up to questions from the media. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. See, two questions. What is this Google, is for anyone up here. What does Google learn from your partnerships with other states and other colleges? and how will you be able to make the Pennsylvania experience even better? Well, thank you. Thank you for the, the question. I think what we've learned is that there is a, a real need for this, that there are 
Uh, a lot of jobs out there, as I said, 2.4 million nationwide where people use these skills. And what we're finding is if we do programs like this, and this is, as we say, the first statewide one we've done in Pennsylvania, if we, and we get the word out and people get these, um, get these certificates, we could have a lot more Emily's. We just have to get the word out. A lot of people still need to know these exist. You can, you can do them from home. Three to six months, you could have a career certificate and a better job than you had. So we're just finding that the more we do it, the better reaction we get, and we, we just need to keep going. I was going to ask, how long does it take and what goes into getting the certificate? It takes, it typically takes three to six months, sometimes, sometimes uh, more, and the whole thing's online. Emily could say it better. She, she uh, you know, you, you, can, you can see it all right there on your screen, and, um, and we have it in, in six different areas from cyber to data analytics and some of the areas that the governor mentioned. And seeing how much this program helps the students, do you plan on expanding it? Well, we're, we're in conversations with educators across the country. The, the, that's not my particular day job, but we have, we have, I have colleagues who are talking to university systems and schools across the country, and we want to make sure that learners, learners of all kinds, who may be full-time students now, may not be, have a chance to get these certificates. So yes, we are having a lot of, uh, a lot of these kinds of discussions. I think it's important to note that on a bipartisan basis, lawmakers in my administration have made clear that we are committed to skills-based learning, whether it's more VOTEC in our high schools, which the legislature came together and funded at incredibly high levels, significantly more than years past, or whether it's uh, investing in a certificate program like this and creating these public-private partnerships to give students more opportunity. We are focused on skills-based learning and meeting the workforce demands we have today and preparing for tomorrow. And Governor, a uh, question from Jim Zowens. Uh, Mike, oh, Regan is, uh, <laughs> Mike Regan is introducing a bill that requires an armed security or uh, school resource officer at every school. What are your thoughts on that? I, I think I'd have to look at the bill in order to give you a more thoughtful answer. Yeah. Last question, Steve. Uh, in today's Wall Street Journal, Billionaire Jeff Yass came out and said in an opinion that anyone aspiring for national leadership is going to have to take on teachers' unions to be able to fight for students in failing schools. Do you have any comment? I haven't seen the piece, but I can tell you that my position remains the same. We've got to give all children of God the opportunity to be successful. And for some students, that means making sure they've got scholarships and opportunities to get extra tutoring, to be able to get extra materials, or perhaps even go to a different school. That's something I've supported in the past. I continue to support. I noted in my message to the legislature when I signed the budget that I consider that to be unfinished business, something we've got to bring Democrats and Republicans together around, along with raising our minimum wage, along with making sure that we uh, address gun violence in this commonwealth, along with making sure uh, that our LGBTQ Pennsylvanians are protected, bills that have been uh, passed in one chamber but not the other. We've got a lot of unfinished business and I look forward to lawmakers coming back after Labor Day and, and getting down to that work on scholarships and many other issues. I think they're all really important. Thanks, everybody. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.